Peter Peter Grill's one of the worst animes of 2020. Peter Peter Grill you and the Okay, wait, wait, no, 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 no. no. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, yeah, it's one of the worst ones. You ever heard of Peter Griffin? I don't know who Peter Griffin Dude, is. Dude, Peter Grill is horrible. It's got like it's got like a one star on on um on um, Metacritic. Yeah. It's I'm, about to have a ten out of ten on freaking Mal. IGN, though. IGN gave it a two and a half, and it's like I know, I know one of the guys that worked on it, so I have to kind of rate it a little bit higher. <laughs> They'd look it up, He's looking it up dude. Right that's what IGN rated it, Thane. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, I've seen this one. Like, I've totally seen this one. <laughs> I read the manga. Oh, it's a, it's a harem. Looking anime. I'm so glad I knew. <laughs> I'm so glad I knew about this before Thane did. <laughs> How does it's it feel? So it makes you feel did. so good. Thane, I'm gonna See rub that in your freaking score? grill the whole time. What's the now score? One, six, seven. <laughs> it'll be a ten in a in a week. <laughs> it'll, was, oh, it'll, was, it'll, what's his name talking about? <laughs> it'll get. It'll yeah. have a higher review score than Full of Metal Alchemist of Brotherhood. Yeah. In about a week, Thane. I was watching Not a. Um, I was watching a. What the freak's his name? Oh, freak. What's his name? Toby, I was watching Tobuscus, what? and he was talking about Peter Grill. Wow. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's such a big. That's how I found out about it. was all like, guys, go rate this a ten out of ten on Mal. Because yeah, and he talks about it, it, and then it was, he, no, no, it was really it funny because was wasn't it? No, it thank you. Like, Cute fail. No, thank, <laughs> thank. It was really funny because then he did like a ten minute bit of where he jumped in a Discord call with some of his friends who yeah. were playing another game. He kind of crashed their stream just to try and convert people to the Peter yeah, to Grill go, thing to go watch P- Peter Griffin. Yeah. It's it's now becoming a religion thing. Will you be part of the Grillbees? Grillbees. The Grillers. Yeah, the Grillers. Because they took the Griller. They Thane, will you they took touch, the Grillers away you, from Taco Bell. <laughs> will you touch Zay in an inappropriate way for stream, or for camera? I will say that Zay, that GIF you sent, I was showing a student, like we were. Oh no. We were. He was playing oh, one no. of the songs, oh, no. and I had it pulled up on the internet. Oh like, no! Online. Which one was it? It was a it was a guy student. He's like seventeen. So. Oh, what oh, was so it? He laughed. Well, he saw oh. it. It was like two guys petting each other. I'm just like, wow. He probably thinks I'm the gay one. Wait, on your phone? Yeah. Oh shit! So the, notifi- the notification popped up, and I'm just like, well, it popped up. It popped up. Things like I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to Wendy's, and so I hurried and grabbed it, and I messaged back, and then I put it back because the kid was still tuning his guitar. And then, as soon as he starts playing, Zay, you're like, "What did you say?" Yeah, I want some. And then you send that gift. Yeah. And it's like, I'm glad dude, I didn't say something horrible. Rubbing his beard, and, and the notification on the phone pops down, right? And it just shows yeah. like message from Zay. And the gift was really small. I don't know if you saw it, but I definitely did. I'm just yeah. like, nope. <laughs> Hurry and swipe that. that way. Dude, that gift was so funny. I think I was, was like, "No, that's not. That's not us." I'm like, "Oh, you guys are cute." <laughs> And oh then, my and gosh. Then Thane like, immediately stopped. We're officially dating uh, Thane, so when do we should make it official? Immediately. Like, should we, like, put I'm, it in each other? I don't. Do you guys no, want to announce not. it right now? No, like, I, I, I... Welcome I, to the podcast, ew, by the way. what the hell? Welcome I, to the Ratchet no, podcast. No, I, I, uh... The podcast 86. where Zay and Thane are officially dating. Episode. No! Welcome to the Ratcats episode, dating episode, sim. Episode, uh, Thane and Zay go out on their first date. <laughs> and me, me and Sky Chaperone. So I, I sent that. I sent that, and then I put after... Please reply, uh, stop if you want to kind of opt out of these messages. Oh, I didn't and see then that Thane part. sent stop. I just, I just see him scream stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Stop. Me, it's all he said. Stop. <laughs> Thane, you can't. You can't deny it. Don't you deny the love. Said something like, I love this. You should have said. Yeah. Like, You'll never have or, me. Uh, <laughs> you say that, Thane. It's okay because Thane, you guys you're related like Thane, Skyler. Is. Thane, you're playing hard to get, but I'm gonna get you hard. <laughs> oh man, that was clever. They shot you with a love gun. You better watch out, and you better not cry. I yeah, feel it even more I'll, now. I'll Thane. tell you why. Thane, Thane, I feel like that. Rudolph splattered against the wall. That. Thane, I feel like Rudolph. Zay's gonna but something else is red. The blush, Zay. the blush Thane. nose. Yeah, all the here. blood is rushing to my heart. <laughs> You're freaking Rudolph Red Nose. <laughs> yeah, I'll shut up, Rudolph Get Red. The podcast. This is Stuff. the podcast. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <frick. laughs> yeah, guys, welcome to episode 86. Holy crap, 86. That's almost as old as you, Thane. Wow. Oh, that's a boomer joke. Wow. Oh, Sorry, Thane. no. I didn't mean it. I take it back. Boomer. Guys, I'm cold downstairs. Dude, imagine if we had a wine that was 86 years old. Like, we could probably sell that for a lot of money, couldn't we? Yeah, let's just make Maybe. one. If we made one now and just freaking just stowed it away on one of our shelves for like 80 years and then. 
It's like what we're about we're about dead. And we're like, all right, guys, it's episode we'll five bust us out of the of the, po- of the podcast. I feel like the number would be higher if we were eighty six and we recorded literally every week. Yeah, every week for eighty. What years. um, what if wine? It, like, what if alcohol and wine? They aren't relevant at that point, oh, bro. What if that's meta? what if it's, it's just like, like juice now? What, yeah, what if it's just like like a mist? You just. And you're drunk, <laughs> or like you get a buzz. That's actually kind of interesting. And then it gets it, it gets on. into your it I gets into your that. bloodstream immediately. Yeah, that could be a legit thing. I could see that happening. Well, it's like you could take flu shots in your nose now. I don't well, see I mean, why you can't take an alcohol shot up your. Yeah, nose. and right now you all you gotta do is send a gif, and all of a sudden you're dating somebody. So like, I don't True. see like anything can happen. Technology in the is moving way too it fast. Really? Guys. Well, I don't know if it's going fast enough because these two have been like eyeing each other for the past year. I feel like it's moving way too fast. They, they could have had this going forever if they would have said. Cold, like, yeah, yeah cold, I feel like no. Sorry, I, I'm playing the bit. Man. No, I'm sorry. I feel like our relationship's moving way too fast for Thane and I. So I'm gonna have to put a break on it, Thane. I'm sorry. Damn it! Is this yes. the, is this the low point in the arc? Can I skip? I want to skip four episodes ahead so I can get back to the love making. Where they're just freaking going at it. Oh, freaking... stop. Thane, you're gonna, have to give me, you're gonna have to get me something better than a four for four to get that. You know, is Thane, <laughs> Thane, what's that? Oh what's that Game Boy Advance game you That's have? That's horrible. What, what game? In the, drill, in the box. Drill, drill dozer. That's what Zay's gonna do to you in four God episodes. God damn it! <laughs> Shut Thane, up! Thane, you have to give me that game now. Are you, you guys have to going give it to Terrace? Me. Where is it gonna happen at? I need. Wait, I need we'll a never scene. Have drill I mean, dozer. Can we do a vlog? It'll be our OnlyFans vlog. Oh gosh, he's gonna break we'll something. Never have this. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> yeah, it's up there. He'll never <laughs> sticks it in his pants. It's Breaks the video. box. Like, well, I guess it's worthless now. Toss it in the trash. It's not and worth Zay anything. Up and goes, my love. <laughs> no, Zay. Zay picks it up and he fixes the box and gives it back to him and wins Thane's heart. That's how the arc ends. And then they go to Paris and you know. They, Paris, what yeah. if I? They. What if I bought you something really rare, like a really rare game or console or something? Would that win you over? No. What if I did it? Yeah, I'm not going to do it then. <laughs> he didn't say no. He didn't say no. <laughs> yeah! What a pervert. Shut Dude, up. Cole, you know how to tickle him right where he likes it. Oh, gosh, guys, we need to get back on track. This is the track. <laughs> yeah, this has gone too gay. Let's... <laughs> we got to get back that, that, on track. There's anything wrong with that. Why do you think I'm wearing a blanket so <laughs> nobody can see that? what's going on below my waist, Thane? Jeez. I like my old man loafers, so I just wear them everywhere. Nice. And they keep my feet warm. They do a good job of covering you up in the camera, you know what? too. As punishment, why don't you guys host instead? I ain't doing this anymore. That's because he, he doesn't have his subjects, does <laughs> he? Yes, I do. I did have subjects, and now you're not going to get them. Wait, Aww. didn't you get drinks for us, too, Thane? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, while Thane's gone, we could talk about a little something that Cole released on Friday on the channel. Guys, we made Final Fantasy. Yay. <laughs> Big sword. Final Fantasy number 11, 12. Go go play the game. It's brand new, and I'm in it, and Zay's there too. He's cooking marshmallows. In the game, in the game. I'm not sure what you're talking about. In the game or the video. Eleven twelve. Eleven d twelve. Nice. It's that it, we're that far into the future, guys. That many guys. I put out a video about Final Fantasy VII remake. It was pretty fun. We all make little guest appearances, and it's pretty fun. Go watch it. It's only ten minutes long. Think of, ah! Gosh, don't shake them. <laughs> they got Dr. Peppers in the bots, bro. Yeah, I've actually Dang, never bro. had those. those are old. Nice. Talk about the wine cellar, am I right? Dude, these are old as flip. Dang, I wouldn't open that. You've shaken it twice. These are as old as my granddad. Shaken, but not stirred. Oh, Thane shuck. Yeah, you right? really shuck. should not. You shuck. Shuck. Thane, Thane shaken, but not stirred, am I right? All right I'm going to risk it, guys. Did you win? Oh, yeah, you're I good. won, yeah, Dad. Yeah. Thane's not going to be good, though. Nope. Are oh, you going to just pop it with your thumb off? Yeah. No way, dude. There's no way you're doing yeah, that. Yeah, no way. <laughs> it's a twist, not turn, baby. That's what she said. Wait, that's the same freaking thing, Sky. A twist and a turn is the same thing. I meant twist, not pop. There you go. I it's guess. a twist, not push. Look, beer people. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this... Almost has the Mountain Dew effect, and with the real sugar Mountain Dew doesn't taste as good as the nor- as the high fructose corn syrup Mountain Dew. Really? Yeah, but this is still better than that. It's not bad. Let's try it. <clears throat> oh no, I shook my lips too. <laughs> well, you guys really are lovers. <gasps> Cute. Um, what else do we got going on? Let's see if this works. Uh. Oh, okay. We could announce this now. We'll just keep you guys updated throughout the week. So this Friday is going to be a very special um, 
I guess it's not special. It's like the video that we... It smells good, huh? The video that we're putting out on Friday is uh, we're going to play the same game on Friday on stream. It's only an hour long, so you guys should try to be there. But it's going to be a complete vibe fest. Like, I, I'm in love with this game that we're going to play on Friday. And I'm so excited for these guys to experience but it, too. But Sky... Wait, Zay Final and Fan Thane don't need the game to have a complete vibe fest. I thought Final Fantasy... That's true, but they'll like this. Cole, isn't Final Fantasy Eleven longer than just an hour? So He's talking about something saying, else. I know, I know, I know. Oh. It's a joke. I'm sorry. I the flew over my head. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, don't Cole has a time. concussion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a concussion. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be really fun. Like... For for any of you guys, I, I don't want to spoil it. So if uh, just when when Friday comes, we'll we'll announce it throughout the week too on on our streams. But Friday's gonna be a fun day. So I'm I, like I said, I'm really excited. I think I know for a fact that Zay and Cole are gonna love this game, and I think Thane will love it just for the fact that he loves vaporwave. So it, it's gonna be okay. a bop, dude. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you guys don't like the game, then. I'll freaking go neck rope myself somewhere. Like that's how confident I am. You guys are gonna like this. Yeah, that's real confidence. Yeah, <laughs> you go to neck rope yourself. <laughs> God, that that's like the opposite of confidence. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh it sounded gosh. right in my brain. All right. If you pick that game, I will. I will do a a trilogy of games. I'll buy. We'll play them. <laughs> now he's crying. Oh, Dragon Guard! I know what this is. I've oh. I've seen these. <laughs> Thane, are we playing all three Sonics backwards or at the same time, like speedrunners do? Dude, what if all three of us? Well, okay, so one of us can play Sonic CD. All four of us play a Sonic game, and like whoever uh, wins wins. I play the one on GameCube. I uh, pick Sonic Two because that's the only one I know how to play. I'm playing the one on GameCube. What's Sonic the name Adventure of it? Two? <laughs> What's the name of it? Say, huh? uh, it's the one where Sonic 06. All right, you can have it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sonic Heroes? No. Sonic, Sonic Adventure? No. The one where you have Joes. That's Sonic, Sonic Adventure, Adventure. Two. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what'd you call them? Chos. Chos. Chow. Chos. Chow. 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 Sorry. I always thought it was like, because like they're they're like chaos, like the chaos several. I always call them like cows or something like that. <laughs> cows. But now, yeah. now I realize how stupid that sounds. <laughs> yeah. The Man, cows. I'm a dumb kid. <laughs> but I mean, I could kind of vibe with that though. Like chaos, there's an H in there, and you wouldn't expect that. Yeah. You expect chaos to be spelled. That's why right, I thought it was supposed to sound like that. Isn't chaos from Sonic Adventure a mutated chow? Yeah, technically yes. Yeah, yeah it's mutated Cho. <laughs> like Cho Chang from Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah, from Harry Potter 5. Or Cho and Niki, four. that really well, gay schmuck. Well, I was okay. 4. <laughs> okay. She's from 4 originally. <laughs> Get your facts straight, Zay. Yes, yeah, sorry. Robert Pattinson dies in the fourth one. No! Spoilers! What are you doing? He can't be Edward anymore. Or Wait, I thought, I thought Robert, Robert Pattinson Rob was Harry Pat Potter. Yeah. Rob Pattinson? Been dumped this whole yeah, time. Yeah, you're wrong. The 700 Demi? Club guy? Because Tom, Tom Riddle really fiddled his riddle. He fiddled his middle on all over Wait, how's it. Is it His Rob Pattinson, the guy from Seven Hundred? Little, Slitterin. Rob Pat, Robert Pattinson's the guy that plays freaking the werewolf, not the werewolf, the vampire in. Yeah, I know, yeah, but he's he, he, he plays the bat. He plays no, the bat. There's a guy oh, yeah, on the, the show, bat, the Seven Hundred Club. Bat. Isn't his name Rob Pattinson? <laughs> Rob. His name's Cedric. Oh yeah, Cedric Rob Diggory. Yeah, Rob from Smash. Cedric. His name's Rob Peterson. Rob Kardashian. Rob Patterson. I don't know. Well, let me let me look. I think it's Schlob Maberson. Yeah, Schlob on my Naberson. Um, what else? What else was it? I think there was something else I wanted to say. Um, nope. I don't know. I can't think of it. But while we're just vibing out, um, Cole, what time is it? It's that doesn't work because it's not. We're not saying it's a time. It's a. Oh, Cole, what segment are we about to slap into? Oh, there's got to be something smoother, right? Hey, Cole, what is it time a, for? There's a wise man. Don't say that, like, slap into it because that slides in. Oh, sorry. It's Pat Robertson. There you go. <laughs> okay. Cole, Cole, there's a wise man that always hangs out with us, and he gives good advice. Yeah, near the bridge. Yeah, and does he think Under the bridge. pretty good? Under the bridge. <clears throat> is he a grumpy old troll? <laughs> he he kind of he kind of is a troll sometimes. Guys, it's it's Thick's Thoughts with, yeah, with yeah. Little Thicky. And yeah, his yeah. sick sunglasses, dude. Look how sexy he is right there. He's got that freaking sick goatee that he keeps care of. It's almost freaking perfectly symmetrical, You too. can tell he keeps care of it, too. Thick, it's what's trendy. your address? I want to buy you a new pair of glasses, all right? 
<laughs> he wears the same ones every time. I want some new ones. Thick, dang it. Thick, Gosh, thick, dang it. Thick, thick. Hey, whoa, language. Thick, thick. Give me your Jeez. address. I promise I won't go go to your home and uh, oh, no. collect your skin. <laughs> Oh, it's better than. <laughs> wait, did you oh, did Thick get a Fortnite skin? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I want Thick's Fortnite skin. A Force. Oh God. Night skin. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the Star Wars <laughs> Force night skins. Thick. Yeah. Thick. <laughs> cool. Wait, wait, wait. No, dude. No, the other day I had enough V Bucks to buy four skins, dude. I bought yeah. that many. I bought four skins. Oh, yeah. Was Thane's one of them? <laughs> I know you guys are dating and all, but like. No, we're not dating. <laughs> we Thane, if you deny it in public, wait, then it's said, true. Is in, already, in behind the scenes, he said what? he said we're not dating, but he didn't deny that I bought it off of you, huh? I got it off your body. You ripped it off. You <laughs> put the knife and went, and I was like, ah, gosh. Okay, as he's let's crying. Just, let's as just he's, thick thought. As it he's up. crying, thank you. I just want to hear no. thick, thick thoughts. Thick, I want to let you know that we're sponsored by Adam and Eve. So if you want something, let us know. We're not. You <laughs> get five bucks off. We'll copy you get something. Get zero percent though. off if you use code RADCAT to <laughs> check out. <laughs> we'll copy something. That is for Boober. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test. Like he's re- that he's just posted it. this. He's oh, posted crap. this. The progressively oh, gets more difficult <laughs> as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly but gets faster each minute. After you hear this single. Boop. A single laugh should be completed. Every time you hear this sound, ding, remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. <laughs> Sorry. All right, the second time you fail to complete a laugh for the sound, your test is over. The test will begin at the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. Back to you, Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I love the freaking like the dun, 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 dun. the freaking newscaster yeah. reel in the background. He the, dude, he did that beep boop, <laughs> beep boop. I like the, the beep boop. <laughs> that was so funny. Ding. Dane, did you like it? <laughs> thick, you got it. Like thick, you're gonna have to do something special for Thane next. Thicky's thoughts, dude. Do something that'll just really get him going. Thane or Thick, let me get you some sunglasses. Something some I'll get my dick. <laughs> Oh. Don't worry, Zay's got that covered. The, the, you know, Dick Hard, uh, the the newscaster. Thick, make your next Dick thoughts like a news, like you're a new, like a news <laughs> reporter. <laughs> he's gonna have like, it, what if we went from this to Thick actually in like a freaking news station? And he's that would got, be cool. He's got a whole That'd crew. That'd be sick. Yeah. Or, if, Green or, if he, or if he was like one of those guys that f- reports out on the field, like so he's like in the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he has like the, the headline underneath, person. like his title. It's like, yeah, baboons got loose in the street. <laughs> <laughs> One and thing that I will say, went to watch the audio levels. It was kind of hard to hear you sometimes with the music. I don't think he edits these. Bum, oh, he has bum, to. Bum, oh, yeah. It's either him or same man that edits He's got to turn down the audio just a little bit. Of this music? Yeah, the music, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I should have been more clear. Turn down the music just a little bit just so you can hear a little better. It was good, though. It's because we want to hear that? your sexy voice. What was he reading? The fitness Grand Pacer Test? I've never done that. You've never heard Boober, Boober read it? Like, Boober used to read it all the time back I don't back know in the day. this, no. It was him they and Mabel. They would post it in the chat, and then they'd read it, and then they'd just do it. I don't the remember this at all. The Fitness Pacer... I'm sorry if your ears blew out right there. Yeah. The Fitness Grand Pacer test is a multi-stage something, something, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. I never did in school, and I, I heard it, it as, like, a either. meme. Was it a school thing? Yeah. It was, like, that presidential fitness test kind of thing? I guess, We didn't yeah. do that either. I don't... I don't know um, anything about that stuff. Yeah, whoever Bro. completed the fastest with the fastest time, they they, uh, got they pizza. became they became class president. Uh, That'd be clever if they got a pizza dude. because then they just get fatter. In the our time PE of class, our PE classes were like, okay, fat kids be fat and don't throw dodgeballs at them. It's like, okay, wait, no, we could throw dodgeballs at them. <laughs> dude, I remember drilling girls. In the <laughs> Are they just in a corner? <laughs> I definitely hit them. <laughs> they have their own little section. Well, I was also kind of one of the chunky guys, so I still got hit too. <laughs> Enter here if you don't want to play. Are you fat? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. For those of you that are fat or those that just don't want to play, you can sit you in the corner. Get over there. We got pizza, and donuts, chocolate milk. 
Cole, did you say you'd hit someone in the face? You'd hit girls in the face no, all the time? Sky said that. No. I said there were times where girls would just get real, dude. Like, yeah, there was this one girl. Too. I remember this one. I didn't throw the ball either. I'm like, dude, I, I'm not throwing a ball at a girl. I don't care. Except there was one girl I thought was really cute, and that's how I would flirt with her is I'd, like, throw it at her leg. Try and nail her or something. But, like, some girls would get drilled in the boobs, and he'd be like, ah, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't want that blood on I my I don't hand. understand that when I was that age. I was like... For like a, high school. You're like, oh, girls are invincible. I was like, like a little clueless about stuff, honestly. Like, I knew about stuff, but I was clueless about some, like, stuff like that. Yeah, Cole, yeah, you're well, right. Well, there Cole. was this one kid that was in our class. He was a dick. And, like, this girl that I'm thinking of, Cole, you probably know her. Um, her last name rhymes with Swenson, and she wore glasses. She was yeah, kind of yeah, short. Yeah, I know her. Blonde hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there was this dick in this in our class, and he was like, he he was just trying to hit everybody, and he's just being a big ass. And I'm like, dude, come on, like, stop hitting the girls. He freaking wound up, dude. And this chick, she's not athletic in, uh-huh. in any sense of the word, and she's not even. She's a really attention. nice person too. Oh yeah, she's, she's so kind sweet. and just like, kind of keeps to herself and uh-huh. wouldn't and hurt a fly. She she was just talking to like one of her friends. She turns around, dodgeball, freaking drills her in her face. Glasses go flying, and she just like falls to her butt. And just kind of sits there for a sec. Yeah, I just dazed. <laughs> yeah, like I that. looked. I looked at the guy, and he was like shocked himself. I think he just felt completely like a horrible person. But her spirit left her body, dude. She was gone for a hot minute. <laughs> Good. Her glasses were gone. That's how he should feel, bro. She's not even playing. No, no, she's not. She's just standing there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, if you're, tra- uh, I can, I can kind of understand if you really want to win that bad, and you aim like low at her leg just to get her out, and then she can go over to the side. But like, dude, cu- like. Oh, yeah, he was just a total dick, dude. He was like Hits one of the, the freaking the head. cool. Heads and face shots, bro. Oh, no, it's probably like yeah. ninth or 10th grade. Oh. But it's like, that's when, like, in ninth and 10th grade, that's when we started doing P.E. with girls. Like, before then, it was, like, boys only mm. and then girls only. Well, uh, kind of. I didn't do Junior that. high was. I don't remember doing I never that. had. It was all boys for junior high. Junior, junior high, high mixed, bro. My f- mm? Yeah. Mm? Junior high was all boys. Pretty right? sure it was mixed. I don't think so. No, I think it was. It was because the girls stayed at the junior high and we went to the college. Are you sure? Yeah. It yes. Was, that's it. Yeah. It was all boys. Sky got it. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I remember I always, because. Why did I always think that? Oh, that's weird. In my my eighth grade year, I had a a like a what are those like extra classes called? Like prep class or something? Or oh, an elective. Elective. I had an elective. <laughs> yeah. I don't freaking know. It was like a, it was like PE two. My elective was PE number two. So you just have two PE classes? Basically. Oh, okay. And the second one was like a mix. It was boys and girls. Oh, that so was that's, like... So that's why I was confused. Well, that's why what Sky said at first confused me. What was that called, PE2? There was like a name for it. It was like weights fitness or something. Or no, there was there was the weights life, one. Life fitness? But fitness? there was another life one. Life fitness. I think it was life fitness. It was something... Yeah. It was basically just PE2. We just played freaking dodgeball crap. Yeah, you just mess around. Dude, it was fun. The freaking worst, though, is, like, I remember back in, like, grade school growing up, we would play hockey with the actual hockey stick. Yeah, 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 But yeah. then they banned them because people were just slapping the hell out of each other with them, dude. Like, I remember this one time, this kid went for a freaking wind-up, and you weren't allowed to pull the stick above your head. Like, yep. it was, like, just little flick shots, dude. He wound up, and he smacked this chick's shins, dude. She just dropped crying, and I'm like... You're an idiot, dude. You just <laughs> you smacked a, a a ten year old girl with a freaking hockey stick as hard oh, as that, you could. Yeah, yeah, that was ugh, rough. I I got, I thought of another PE story. This happened. Well, actually there's in high some school, rough. There, oh, those some some of that stuff in that those classes. Rough <laughs> doing that stuff, bro. This wasn't a rough thing. At least this was kind of just like a crazy freak incident thing. Um, you know the gym, our main gym at high school. Yeah, the big one. The big one, and like you know the lights on the on the this. Obviously the ceiling But yeah. like the lights up there mm-hmm. They got like this Like dish dome looking thing <laughs> Yeah Were you in my P class? I don't know I don't think you were We were playing kickball And I was I was in the uh, I was playing shortstop And somebody kicked the ball Went straight up into the ceiling And hit one of those lights Right above me And I looked up at it The dust fell And I saw eyes. it kind of No Okay <laughs> I saw it kind of like sway And I saw the The dish fall it was coming right for me. I kind of just stepped to the side and watched it crash right in my face. <laughs> like it, was like, it was like a freaking Matrix moment. I looked up and watched it. And went, Whoa. <laughs> Bro. Dude, Whoa. were all the chicks like, oh, oh my hero. I'm, a, I'm he's a, not a freaking dead. anime protagonist. Guys. Like, no, you're like, yeah, you're baby, like, I saved you. No, I saved they're all like, life. he's not dead. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, holy <laughs> freak, how are you not dead? Dude, I'm like, cool. I saw it, I guess. <laughs> you're Bro. like, well, you out. just do that meme, you just point to your head. Honestly, I looked out. I could have got hurt bad. Dude, that is awesome, though. That thing, it shattered, too, and hit the ground. That's freaking it sick. It was glass. It <laughs> shattered. Awesome. It hit the ground, shattered all over. <laughs> I, I could have died. I don't know about oh, that. Yeah. 
Dude, okay, so do you guys remember in junior high where um, our PE teacher would make us run up the bleachers? Yeah. Bro, did you guys ever, like, fall and get your legs stuck? Oh, my and then gosh, fall, dude? dude. Yeah. Oh, no, I so never bad, did that. Dude. I never did no, that. No, I did it once. I'd smack shins, but I never did. No, I, I never well, fall yeah, yeah, yeah. inside. I remember in the class, there was one of my I buddies. I I think that's what we were talking about, the shins. Yeah, I would smash my shins on Yeah. you'd slip, and you'd just... You'd slip on the stairs, because yeah, the stairs were, like, it. that s- smooth water or whatever. Did junior high? Yeah, junior high. Oh, I was talking about... I thought you meant, like... Like you can like you fall in your leg falls in both no. yeah well, I've, oh, never I've never did, done I never that, did that. No. Okay, so I, never done I would that. smack my shins but there was this chubby kid well he wasn't really chubby at the time but he told the teacher he's like I'm not doing it I'm not doing the stairs because he fell already once yeah and he's the teacher's like well what are you talking about you have to do blah 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 he got in a fight so this yeah. kid got up he freaking like kicked the garbage can he yelled f you and he walked out dude <laughs> but this kid <laughs> was like he was like a nerdy guy too like he hardly ever said anything but he exploded and I'm like wow I feel like I might have been in that class with I think you, you were because this sounds really familiar he was a was tall cold. blonde haired guy <laughs> it wasn't me. after eighth grade I, I think knew the he, teacher I don't I know I don't know who the one that did it I think the kid left. I don't remember his last name. Oh, did you say he was bald? <laughs> blonde. Was his hair really short? Yeah, it was kind of white. It was like whitest blonde. I, I, I think I know who his he is. His mom used to be a teacher at our first school at White Pine or Mountain View. I don't know who it is. <clears throat> when I said his name, or when I say his name afterwards, you probably I'll maybe. I if I know him. Maybe. But man, PE, what a wild time. What well, I think the worst part was like, not me. Yeah, definitely one of the worst parts is like when. I I don't know. I don't know everyone's situation, but there's a lot of people like they would just leave their clothes and not wash them for the oh, whole yeah. year. Oh yeah. Like they would go like months like you yeah, and that's like where where when we had like we're we'd have to wear the same like outfit every like just a like shirt the, and shorts. Yeah, everyone wore the same color. So like you it was your own responsibility to take them home and wash them. So some people didn't do that though and ugh, they smell so bad cuz you just use them every day or every other day or whatever too. it is. You just, oh, it's still so bad, and then you're running next to them, or, like, you're next, yeah, it's just horrible. It's totally B.O., oh, bro. Yeah, or if they wouldn't shower after class. Yeah. It's like, it's uh, just, listen, dude, we're not here to see your wiener. We just don't want you to smell bad. Bad B.O., bro. Ugh. You know, then I was wondering, did you have any fun pee stories? No. Share now. Did you like P.E.? It's okay. Did you have to wear a uniform, too? <clears throat> yeah. In high school, in high school, oh, we 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 was free range. Yeah, we, we didn't have school. a uniform in high school. Just yeah, in high school, high. yeah, we had to do like a little uniform. Dude, you know what? I like. I know people who were against this, but they, you know, how they almost made us wear uniforms at one point. In time? Yeah, I was kind of all for it. I was too. I was well, like, you know what? If why? Because I don't know. I didn't. I. This is coming from a guy that you've seen my closet. I've had the same wardrobe since I was like fourteen. Doesn't really change all that. I didn't much. care what I wore either. Exactly. So when I say uniform is like you bought PE <coughs> clothes and you just kept them in a locker. Yeah. You yeah, just wore the same yeah. same thing every yeah every day yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No, for a I'm, moment, I was all about the uniform. I'm like, dude, this would be cool. Like, that I don't have to worry about what I'm freaking wearing, and it kind of gets rid of a stigma that some people might have. Like, yeah. <coughs> some people feel bad about not having like the fanciest clothes or whatever. They wouldn't yeah. ever have that if they, everyone just wears the same thing. Dang. Mm-hmm. I have a way different perspective than you honestly, guys doing that. Honestly, like, it's fun to wear your own clothes and stuff like that and, like, personalize yourself. But in my opinion, in a high school setting, like public high school, I think a uniform is the way to go. Because then there's there's that one less thing that people have to worry about trying to fit in because they're trying to wear the new clothes that everybody has. What? Are, so are you speaking just, uh, just uh, the like, the athletic scene, though, or, like, the class? Or are you talking I'm about talking school about in general? I'm talking about school-wide. Ooh. School-wide <laughs> uniforms. Yeah, that's what I was talking to. Like, Dang. I don't know. I always thought it would be cool. But, like, I totally agree with you, though, Cole, because I remember there was one time in high school there was this kid who, like, everybody knew he was poor, and his clothes were always ripped and yep. kind of gross, and it's like, I mean, everybody would, knows. Yeah, and, like, he wouldn't have been looked down on that much if everybody was wearing the same thing anyway. Yeah. I don't know. I think it, I, I, I don't know. I think it gets rid of the whole, um, like, what you're saying, like, judging people based upon what they're wearing. A lot of the a lot of the complaints that people had about it I thought were really really dumb too. Things like, "Oh, but I bought my own clothes. I want to wear them cuz I bought them." Like, "Okay, we're on Saturday or after school or something." It's just yeah. like most of your arguments are invalid. There's no like real legitimate argument that you're making that actually makes sense. I think the only thing that I agree with that people said is they're like, "I like being like I like the diversity of it. I like 
like somebody wearing clothes is an expression of who they are. You know what Do I mean? Do it after school or Saturday, though. I understand. Like, it makes sense. Yeah. I, I, no, I, 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 I agree with too, you. But I just didn't think that was a valid excuse either. Yeah. Are you guys still talking about the, the, fit, or the uniform thing? Yeah, uniform. <clears throat> I think for me, I, I don't know. I, I, I can, I definitely, I can definitely agree with, um, yeah, someone feeling like they're almost less than by not having like a, like some nice clothes, like everyone has nice clothes or new clothes at the beginning of the year or whatever. But I, I think for me, the biggest thing is I feel like going to school every day. It was the same thing over and over and over and over. I just wanted to like run my head into a wall. I'd rather do that than just do it all over and over. So like being able to wear something different every day, it gave me a little bit of change because like I would do the same thing, go to class, you wake up, eat breakfast, go to class, same exact thing, well, study the same exact thing, go to practice after school, get home, eat dinner, do homework. It's just like the same thing over and over. I'm just like, my, my rebuttal to that though is like, yeah, that's one week, but the next week you're going to wear the same clothes again. But at least there's variety. I can choose when I wear stuff. See, and I think I the reason I didn't care that much is, dude, I legit, all senior year, I wore freaking sweats and a hoodie to school every day. That's what I wore in junior high. Like, I, I never cared. Mm-hmm. I never cared. It's just, for me, I, it was it was just, I hated it. <laughs> it's just torture. <laughs> I understand. To me, understand. it's just mentally, it was just a race every day that I couldn't win. <laughs> I just, I couldn't win. <laughs> It was horrible for me. I feel like so if like, you would have had it, had like like if uniforms would have been a thing, like when you went into school, I feel like you wouldn't have that wouldn't have been an issue though. I don't think yeah. it would have changed my thought process though, because like when I'm out of school, like it's not like I'm thinking about anything that's in school except maybe homework. But like so when I when you develop like a certain way of thinking about things, like I still I don't I don't think clothes would have like changed that that much. Yeah. Even though I didn't like put a priority on clothes. I mean, I like wearing different things every day or, like, trying to make some sort of change. But it was never, like, a thing of, like, status for me. Like, if yeah. someone wore something, yeah. if someone wore, like, the same hoodie every day or the same whatever every day, it didn't matter to me. I just, like, okay, I'll, like, I'm still going to talk to you no matter what. It's just, I don't know. I think that's why I liked it. It's just you were able to change it up a little. I don't know. Well, and that makes sense because there was a point in time in my life where I, every single day for months and months and months, all I wore was a freaking, like, suit pants and a and a white tie or a white shirt and a tie and like the monotony of that I don't know I, I didn't really like wearing those clothes I mean there were times where I did I'm like yeah this is cool I guess but dude wearing a freaking shirt suit and tie all day freaking sucked so I don't know I agree with changing your clothes every once in a while but I think for a school setting it's it's like probably the the way to go you know it kind of I don't know kind of unifies everybody and takes like what Cole was saying that stigma of Having crappy clothes or trying to be the the most fashionable person out of it. Yeah. I don't know. I just have yet to hear a good solid reason to not have a uniform. Like it makes like there's a lot of really good positive reasons to have a uniform and a lot of them are mental health issues. And I think that's something that specifically our country is really struggling with in the past couple of years is mental health. Mm. And I feel like it'd just be one extra thing to help out with. But I don't know. I <clears throat> I go back to like I I just don't think wearing a uniform sure you might feel <clears throat> it's gonna make someone feel better but I mean it's still not gonna stop what their what life is like outside of oh, school. No, oh no no yeah. no yeah yeah so it's I mean, not going to so I mean it's just one extra thing to make it a little bit better I I don't know if they even make it better I think that can be an argument as well I mean I wonder if there's studies done because like dude outside of America a lot of countries do uniforms at yeah. school. It's, well, even it's in the America, norm. there's still a lot, too. A lot, there's, like, it's a like lot of private, private schools. schools. Yeah. yeah, private it's, schools. It's yeah. almost like the norm outside of the U.S. Yeah. There's a lot of places that don't, but it's very common that a lot of people do. What do you think, Thane? <laughs> huh? What do you think about he it? Poops, school so uniforms? I think he likes it. Yay or nay? I, I like a girl in a skirt. See, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, you know what? These guys all watch anime. Maybe that's it. Yeah. But it's, just, it's a meme. Nah, I don't care. They all like the 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 school uniforms because that's all the the animes they watch. Yeah, I mean, I was I was pro school uniforms even in high school. I was school. in high school as well. Yeah, yeah. no, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's bad joke, Zay. <laughs> it's 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 kind of <laughs> funny though. It's kind of funny. I'm not a weeb. It's kind of funny. I'm a weeb. You're not wrong though. Every freaking anime that's about high school, they have yeah, uniforms. Yeah, they always do. So, thing you. 
you are against it or you, you're okay with it? Uh, I don't care. Oh, okay. We want to know what you guys uh, have thought about it, though. Let us know your guys' or thoughts Or if you've ever below. thought about it. Or if you even go to a school with a uniform. Yeah. yeah. Like, that'd be interesting to know, too. Or if you can go to school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> well, Thane, we've, we've sucked half of the show away from you. So. And you like that, though. Yeah. He's sicko. True. He likes getting sucked off for 30 minutes. Especially by Zay. What the f- Thane. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Do it. Do it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it for you, Thane. Nice, Don't Thane, worry. Nice. Don't Just you put your mouth Sky. anywhere near me. Sky, if you high-five Thane later, it'll be like he high-fives Zay through proxy. Well, Zay's gotten Thane a couple times by like saying something yeah, weird. Yeah, I know. Weirdly <laughs> grotesque. And I've seen it before. High-fives and Thane's great. like, <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> that it's because of that, it's cause of that special yeah. bond they have. That though. brings you so it's much true. joy when Thane does that. <laughs> that brings you so much joy. Thane will slap you afterwards. So what do you got for us, Thane? <clears throat> Bring the heat, Thane. Go. Bring the um, house down. I have a funny story. This kind of relates to the subject, but um, back in high school, I used to... No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. No, um, back a few years when I was living back in my parents' house, uh, my sister... Uh, was living there too with her kids and her two dogs because her husband was overseas in the military and um we I had to help take care of her dogs <coughs> and every sa it, she decided to sign up for a dog course it was every Saturday in another town like a mile dog away training? yeah okay it was like in another town a mile away and um you would have to take them. I remember this too because there yeah. would be Dane, times you would have to take. Thane him? would call me and he'd be like, "Hey, I can't, I can't like film tonight. I gotta go do a dog." Or it was on Saturdays, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, we would always do something on Saturday I mornings. Can't I film. think that's when we film the podcast. But Thane's yeah. like, I, "I gotta go to dog training." Oh <laughs> like, my gosh! <laughs> I'm sorry, Thane. I, well, I was back by like after after it wasn't even that long. Oh, you just go yeah. do it though. Yeah, no questions asked. Just I got then, you. Then um, so. Anyways, uh, this late lady, uh, she taught a lot of stuff, like different commands, how to like, uh, make like the dog behave better. Yes, yeah, yeah. like you had a weird smirk when so you were <laughs> lady taught stuff. You were becoming no, 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 wait, the wait, wait. you were becoming Caesar the dog whisperer. <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, the course is the, the course. You don't know who Caesar is? Uh-uh. They do a little quick. Do a little quick uh, summary of who Caesar is. C- uh, the Dog Whisperer. It's a show on, I think it was like A&E, and it's, it's a guy named Caesar Malone. <laughs> and he just oh, oh, the meme. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember. I didn't know um, he was a meme. But. So anyways, this lady, she was like, you know, there's a lot of these commands, but I love the come command because to tell them just come. You know, I love, and, and she says this, oh, no. I love come. <laughs> I love oh, cum, no. and I was like, "She said that." <laughs> like, oh no! Could have worded that differently. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Bust up a glass. They did anyone? No, I, I was like, I was like, I was, I wasn't really laughing about it. Hurt. I was like, <laughs> you know, wait, wait, wait! You're like, 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 you're like. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting there. He's sitting there in class. Looks over the old lady. His old lady's like six years old to his left, and she's just like. And she's like, uh, I like cum too. And then he looks over to the right at the freaking like fourteen year old kid that just forced there by his parents. The kid just busting up. He kid's just dying. No, no one Did was it, laughing. No one caught it. No one said. Any, no one even smiled. No one or was laughing. But I think people who heard it, they were like, <laughs> not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> they, they was in the back, and he's like, hell yeah. <laughs> That's the lady I want to train my dog. I love cum too. <laughs> Let's train the dogs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> train the dogs to cum. <laughs> um, no, they, oh they, you call your sister and you're like freaking out. What the hell kind of dog training yeah, is this? Yeah. Imagine that's your first day. The first, <laughs> the first thing she says, <laughs> you're like, I'm I not sh- doing this. Yeah. It wasn't the, dog, it dude, wasn't the first day. It was yeah. like, the, it was like that, the going places. Not what it was you like a 12 say. week thing, I think, and it was like. Yeah, join my 12-week program so your dog can learn how to come. Oh. <laughs> I'll teach your dog. I'll teach your dog. And then we'll all, we'll all do it together. <laughs> oh, no. We can all tell our dogs to come together. You know, I'm thinking either this was her being, like, ignorant to what she said or it's just her, like, 
dec- just uh, twisted. secret declaration that she just loves. <laughs> <laughs> she loves that command. Yeah. Uh, she did she try making at, the moves at the on the bedroom? You? She just no. Whoa, oh, whoa. What, what if the she's hell? like? What if she's like? Hey, <laughs> so I, I, me. I don't only teach dogs how to come. Oh no. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. She's like, I need a. Like, 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 she's like, what the? Frick? She's like, I need a volunteer. It's and like this guy. Thane's sitting in the corner. She's like, oh, how about that guy? <laughs> this guy. It's like this. Like she walks up to Thane after class, and she's like, you know, Thane, I really, your dogs are doing really good, but. Remember, I don't only teach dogs how to come. And Thane just goes, I'm sorry, I'm taken by the love of my life, Zay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, she, chooses you, she chooses you to be like, teach after class. <laughs> you're the only one in the room or the bedroom with her. She's like, I need a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> There's not even dogs in there, just you and her. The dogs are in the kennel out back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need a, I need a volunteer to help practice coming. <laughs> no, what if they? What if she said just out of out of so everybody? Bad. It's like day two, and she's like, I need a volunteer. Uh, <laughs> hey Thane, how about you? And you're like, how does she know my name? It's like fifty people in there, but she only knows your name. <laughs> She's singles about. Oh my god! Sorry, they we took that way off. They, way off topic. They were just. Topic, we're, they What's were wrong ripping. with you guys. <laughs> hey, they we're, were just, ripping. We're just, yeah, we're ripping. This, Why was so funny? We were the fourteen-year-old boys in that class. They is the guy. They right there. He's sitting over there in that chair. He's picturing what this lady looks like, <laughs> oh. and he's picturing the scenarios too. Oh he, that's why he's so mad about this because he knows what this lady looks like. They, oh. Is is it not? Is she not, very, see? is she not a very attractive lady? Was she not? Does she have a like? She's like a mom. She's like a hey, forty year old mom. I've seen some great looking mothers out there. I don't want to think about that. Okay, okay, we're done. God, <laughs> <laughs> Thane, you have to admit it's a funny thing to this say. This podcast is over. <laughs> you guys ruined it. <laughs> I'd say that lady ruined your life. <laughs> She didn't ruin my life. <laughs> what you guys ruined the here's story? They, they, here's the real question. She enriched they, your life. They, here's the real question. <laughs> she yeah. brought a lot out did, of you. They, did your dogs learn how to come after that? No, they never did. <laughs> oh. No, not it's like that. Oh, oh, whoa, what, what was that? Whoa. Whoa. whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? I'm they, talking about the command. We never talked whoa. about that once. Whoa, whoa once. sir! Did your dogs not learn the command come? <laughs> they're, they're, I don't know. They're. So they're this is a Wendy. No <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. They they weren't very obedient afterwards. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Oh. It's a waste. Oh man. So <sighs> that was a trip. <laughs> so if they that didn't learn, thing. they what's someone that is the opposite of Caesar? Who would be the opposite of Caesar? Because if I they know. didn't learn, probably that lady. Yeah, but what? Are, what whoa, was, whoa! What are, <laughs> whoa! You got to defend her. It's just our dog. We didn't. I don't think we did too well with actually like in drilling it in their brain. <laughs> so the dog cries. Did you need to give him a free lobotomy? Dis- <laughs> lobotomy. You gotta yeah. learn. <laughs> you gotta learn. No, they, to come, boy. Then you strap the dog down, and then like you strap it down, and then you make it like you do like a little projector, and you make it watch like videos. Yeah. So it's like dogs, brainwashing yeah, yeah, yeah. of dogs like obeying. Worst is that one of the dogs, his name is Jake, he's a terrier, and he's very, like... Is he just weird? It's like a kind of weird border terrier shih tzu schnauzer mix, Thing. I don't know, and he was very it's a bit of everything. stubborn. Yeah. yeah, he was very stubborn and aggressive. Was he, the, <laughs> was he the one that would always bark at me when i come over? Yeah, he'd bark at everyone. I'd knock at the door, and the freaking dog's just like, blah, 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 freaking out. Yeah, and all, all I hear is, you mother so, F. So he kicks the dog. <laughs> and then the door opens up. It's Thane's dad. God, I hate that little shit. <laughs> Sue, shit Sue. Yeah. You said it's name nice was Jake, Steve. right? Yeah. So I'm curious. What are you guys' thoughts on naming pets after like, people names? Like, they have human names. I don't care. You don't care? I think it's cool. The other one was named Tally, but it wasn't T. Like, she was a little, like, uh, Puggle. Pug, was pug she the one with ugly teeth? teeth? Or was that Jake? That was Jake. Uh, Jake had ugly teeth. Uh, Tally yeah. was, like, just, like, a cute, fat little dog. What about you, Zay? Naming um, pets real names. Real people names. I know. I mean, it depends you, on the look of the dog. Like you got a honestly, dog named Matthew. What do you think? No, it honestly depends on the look of the dog. Okay. What it looks like, like the face, how it acts. It depends on the name. If someone has a really funny name for a dog, though, dude, I love that. Yeah. I love when someone has just a 
His name's like Cookies or something. It's just geek. something r- so weird. It's just yeah. like you don't expect it. I like that a lot. We had a guy that um, we grew up with. His name, he had a dog and he named it Geek. So he'd be like, come here, Geek. I'm yeah. Like, Man, that's cool. Because I've been thinking about it recently with the Pokemon aspect because they're basically pets. <clears throat> I don't like naming them people names. It feels weird. And so I realize that's kind of how I am with like pets too. But that said, I've had a dog named Susie before. Susie, that's a, that's a people name. Yeah. So I don't know. I, Do you guys have like names you already have picked out? I don't think I'll ever own pets, but it's always I've always like had. If I ever get a dog or two, do- if I get one dog, I'm naming and I'm naming it Gandalf. If I get two dogs, I'm gonna name one Frodo and one Sam. What terrible names! And if I get a fourth, We're not Sam. We like you, Sam. If I get a fourth <laughs> dog, if I get a fourth dog, I'm going to name it Ryuk. Because that's anime. I thought Thing was going to lash out. Be like, no, you can't do that. This what? is a GameStop. I, I'd <laughs> what? Say, I'd say <laughs> Gandalf would be a cool name for a dog. Ryu could be a cool name for a dog. Frodo and Sam. Frodo's, I think that's probably a terrible name for a dog. No, Frodo. Frodo's cool because it's like, hey, come here, I Frodo. I think it'd be a good name for a cat. Yeah, I could see a cat. I don't, I don't know about there, Sam. There Sam no cats seems, for me. Who Sam, said that? Um, Sam is a best, the best name for a parrot because toucan or, or like a toucan because you know toucan Sam. Did someone Everyone say? Everyone will name their toucan Sam. Did someone I say? Um, by law, that's law. an original thing. Did someone ever Very say nice. Frodo at like a Burger King when you they give him your name? I did oh once. I said gosh. Frodo. <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah. It was a Frodo Baggins. Because I think Sky said Sam. I don't know if I said Baggins, I said, but I definitely said I, Frodo. I think I said Sam and Cole said Frodo. Yeah. Oh. Um. And Zay always just, his go to is just Thane. Yeah, I do Thane. Yeah. Uh, you do Thane. Do you say Thane as well? No, he never like makes Jim. a name up. Yeah, Jim. he always makes this a My re- name's Mike. Very generic. Mike, yeah. yeah. You hand him your debit card, says your name on it. That's what's funny, is that you <laughs> clearly see the <laughs> name on it, too. It'd be funny if you walk up. My name is Satoshi. <laughs> My name is uh, Sakaguchi. <laughs> like, how do you spell that? S O C K. Uh, Shaka a- Gucci. You're just, like, you're just like, my name is Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> oh my god. Miyamoto san. <laughs> Shigeru. Can you spell that with a chan at the end? How do I spell C H A N? Shigeru chan? Call me senpai. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, finally, oh. I'll, fi- I'll, I'll make my Final Fantasy and then I can focus on my rap career. So that's from a, it's from a Mega that, 64 sketch. Is that a basketball player right there? Yeah, I'm gonna go win an NBA championship and then focus on my rap career. Yeah, um, uh, or Shaq. A wrestler. Who's Shaq? Pro wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, on to the freaking topics. <laughs> Sorry, Thane. We're really still. <laughs> okay, the stage just give light. me your pet history. I'll start. I had like, growing up, I had like several cats. Uh, that came and went. I remember. Um, I had a dog. His name was. Sparky, very average. It's a great I, dog name. He's like pretty he's average, like, but great. He's like Oreo colored. You know when he like blend, like make an yeah, Oreo yeah, yeah. shake. <laughs> kind of was that. No, he didn't blend or dock. No, no, no. Oh no, Sparky. It's a biracial, biracial um, canine. No, I think he was like a. I don't know. I I can't remember if I. Pointed out the breed. I could probably, if you showed me a bunch of dog breeds, I'd probably point them out. But was it like a, a lineup, uh, just a lineup of pups. Yeah, a healer. What? Like a I think healer? he was a healer. Yeah. But anyways, um, he, uh, <laughs> I just had a random type and said, "Yeah." <laughs> he was a. Is that even a real dog? He was a. Oh, he was, he was a cute Typically dog. Red healers um, or blue healers. He was a cute he dog. Was like uh, a witch he, doctor. That's what I thought. He unfortunately <laughs> ate some of our I cats. Gross. Or those cats. or at least that's what I thought. I think he, some something else might have killed the cats, and he's probably was eating. <laughs> Did them. you just blame it on your dog? Uh yeah, or probably. Sparky I mean, he was young. Joe. What do you expect? Uh, anyways, um, he got hit by a truck. Criminy. This happened when I was like in second grade. Rip. That's yeah. a big old rip. Bro, Did it affect then, you anyway? It's like no, yeah, kill the a cats. little bit. Feel bad, dude. When pets die when you're young and you yeah. really like, you really like them. That's it's rough, horrible, dude. It's rough. Oh yeah, and, um, it really is. And since then, I've just had cats. I remember I had this uh, black and white one. Her name was Cleo. We named her after that f- funny fortune teller on TV. I'm just kidding. No, we named her after Cleopatra. That's a good cat yeah. name too. Yeah, Cleo. Cleo. <clears throat> and then uh. Yo, Cleo. And uh. We had this one we called her Tiger, and she was pregnant, and she had babies. 
And um, and then when she got pregnant again, we gave her to a shelter. And then later, as in a high school project, when I was doing like talking about like animal, uh, like spaying, neutering, and like taking care of animals, I went to the interview and said like they kill 15 animals a week and i thought oh you like tiger oh, no. i gave tiger a, a pregnant cat we gave her away to a shelter <laughs> she probably got euthanized oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible i felt it's like oh no Damn, bro. <laughs> dude but anyways we had wait did you give it away because it got pregnant yeah oh, we said no, let's just give away to the shelter we were young. We didn't. I. We were like. My parents didn't care. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know. If if I was older, saying no, no, get like, let's have have babies. We'll give them away, and then we'll give them. We'll f- we should have fixed Tiger. That's what we should have done. But well, don't worry. <laughs> Tiger's a terrible name for a cat. Yeah. So it's okay. You got rid of it. But you don't know for sure if it died or not. I right? think if we. I think if we would have fixed well, her, we probably would have kept her. Um. We but, don't know um, if she died or not, though. Yeah, I know. I yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. why you always have dog boy animals because and you if don't we... have. He can go out and frick around. Like it's probably best that you neuter. I don't them. like that though. That's very yeah. irresponsible. You don't. You should probably neuter them <laughs> yeah. and then let them go out there and just frick around. But yeah, well, I, I mean, mean, they won't frick around after they're neutered. Their you have drive is gone. If you got a boy dog, then you don't have to worry about yeah. having the babies unless you're like a freaking breeder. Then yeah. go for it. Um. So yeah, man, and and the saddest thing is that there's a, a town over. I went to interview them, and and they said they used well. This is before. Uh, they MySpace. used social media. MySpace, yeah. Like this was years before I did my social. Like like, we gave her away years before I w- like went to interview him for high school. I was still like I think in like middle school. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe things changed. I thought it was gonna be like a Disney show or something mm-hmm. like that, where you're like <gasps> Tiger. It's really she you. Actually, you, know what I was thinking, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking something else. So. Yeah. I was thinking what you were going to do is you present it in front of the class, and then one person's like, hey, that cat looks exactly like mine, and then it ends oh. up being one of the, the babies, or the cubs. Oh, That'd, that'd also be, be cool. a Disney movie, yeah, basically. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> and you guys connect, um, and you guys the, go out. Though, uh, for a week, uh, you. Tiger, for <laughs> yes. some reason, disappeared. We had to like take care of the kittens. And then, and then, like one, like a week later, Absolutely. she comes Jared? back. Jeez, it's like tiger. Tiger's back. She just had to get a break from the kids. She's yeah. just like, you know what, frick it, I'm going yeah, to go I'm drink with the Bad cat. It's the worst mom ever. Yeah, I'm glad you got a babysitter. <laughs> and, and as you couldn't tell, um, you couldn't tell by uh her name, she was orange. She was like an orange cat with like white at the bottom. Um. Anyway, she had two, and she had four kittens. We gave away two of them, and uh, we kept two. One of them was orange, and the biggest one, his, we said named Garfield. Oh, nice. He got, we went to vacation one day and came back, and uh, he got mauled by dogs. Nice. Uh, I mean, aw. It was, it was horrible. It was like, Did you like with Zagna? I mean. I bet. If you yeah. name like that, yeah, he definitely does. And then, and my sister cried because she really liked Garfield. And I was pretty sad too. Dang. But we had Panther. She lived for a while, and she was a calico colored cat. And um, and then like I come home. I came home like a couple months ago. I was like, "Hey, is Panther still alive?" And and my mom and dad were like, "No." I was like, "Okay." It's like she had a big tumor, and we we're gonna go have her put down. Jeez. But uh, we couldn't find her afterwards. Like, oh well. And she was 15 years old, so... Wow. So you think she just went somewhere and just died? Yeah, probably. probably yeah. Dang, bro. Actually, I think she's more than 15. I think she's, like, almost... Jeez. Probably older than that. I can't remember the exact year, but... Yeah, she was... It was her time to die, I guess. I think most animals do that. When yeah. they know they're... Like, it's weird. They have, like, a sixth sense that they know they're going to die. Because my they my uh, bury themselves. well my aunt's dog kept running away and they had to keep going and finding it uh-huh. and then one day it was just like gone they found it dead like a, it, for like a couple of days it kept trying to like leave yeah. and go die somewhere yeah ugh <clears throat> um, it's all your animals that's so uh, weird, bro. and then it is weird. and then and then my sister she got a dog uh Jake 
And um, she went to, she was deployed for a while somewhere. We had to take care of him for like, I think like six months. Did she still have her kids with her when she was deployed? Or did mm. they stay at your house? No, I don't think she had kids by the oh, back at okay. the time. Um, And then when she moved back in, we kind of t- <coughs> took care of both Jake and Tally. And now she's moved out and... uh. She let the dogs? Yeah. Well, no, she did not leave the dogs. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't she know. took the dog. I Jeez, could, eh? But I could consider those pets boyfriend. since I helped Siri. take care of them. Yeah, that makes sense. Were you, uh, Thane, when you were watching the dog, were you watching um, Nikki Jakey at the time or before you met Jake? No? I don't, I, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Oh, you guys give me a pet history. Um, so mine, I don't really like pets, let it be known. Like, I like my pets, but I don't ever want to have pets. How dare Ooh. you? I had a dog when I was little. Is Her name was Reggie. My parents got rid of her because they had me. They had a baby, so they uh-huh. didn't want a dog. And then uh, they got another dog named Bella, which is like a little shih tzu. And it would poop everywhere and bark, <coughs> so they got rid of it. I just see a border collie. Oh, this oh, was no, another. No, no. This is my old oh, dog. Yeah, yeah. Got rid of it. Yeah, funny story. My second animal we had was named Bella, but then we got a dog when I was like twelve, and her name was also Bella. Why did you get two <sighs> dogs with the same name? Because the dog we got named Bella was already a, named. Yeah, Bella? already named Bella, given uh, to us by my dad's brother. I see. So we've had that dog ever since. She's still alive. She'll probably die soon because she's really old. And it's really sad you to think about. You guys have had that dog for a long time. Bro. She's as old as Slade, She'd dude. She'd always she's bark every time old. we come in the house. She's gotten better now. Oh, she's so chill now. She'll yeah. just, like, yeah. waddle yeah. up to yeah. you, and then she's just chill. But then uh, it's bad. It's funny. my dad got some bearded dragons. He had those for, like, two or three months. And then we have a turtle. Uh, the bearded dragons he got rid of, but then... My sister has a turtle named Tuck, and it's like, that turtle's going to outlive everybody. They can live up yeah. to, like, 80-something years old. So. Yeah. Um, but then I don't think... Bro, imagine having a turtle, like, the your whole entire life. span of your life. And <clears throat> it wins. It'll outlive Bro, you. that is wild. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't do anything. It just, like, poops and sits in its own poop. It's kind of sad, but... It's just a sad existence. Yeah, I know. Me. But that turtle is probably just cool with it, I guess. It gets fed and has a light to keep him warm. He's safe. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, I don't think I've had any other animals that I can think of anyway. We had a bunch of dogs and a bunch of cats just because we lived out in the middle of nowhere. So we got a bunch of cats. We just randomly just walk up on our doorstep. I don't remember them all, but I can tell you all the ones that I do remember. We had a dog named Susie. This is the one I don't really remember, but I do remember Susie because it was my dad's favorite dog. Then we had Sally. I know, right? Two dogs with two. Yes, yeah, so Susie and Sally. Yeah, and I watched Sally die. Oh, oh, is that the one that got hit by the by the truck? Or yeah, yeah, I told you guys about that, didn't you I? You and yeah. your brother. Were yeah, there? that was Sally. That that was sad, Dang, bro. Um, and after Sally, we got a dog named Kirby. It wasn't named after the video game character. It was named after the vacuum. I knew it. <laughs> I had a feeling too. Nice. It was a Shih Tzu. That's easily my favorite dog of all time. Um, great dog. And then for cats, I really don't remember a lot of my cats. Um, there was two in particular that I can kind of remember. One of them we named Kitty Purry because I'm so freaking good at making up names. That's phenomenal <laughs> name. That's kind of funny. Easily the best cat name you can ever name your cat, Kitty Purry. And then you dress it up on Halloween. And it's yeah. like claws of, and it's freaking, of furry. It's, you get fireworks Cla- to come no, out the, the claws of, of the animal tits. No, claws of furry, and then it has a headband. <laughs> like, oh. No, make it Naruto, and it's like claws of furry. Oh. And it's like a... It's like a ninja theme. Can I, I use see. sexy jutsu? Sexy cool. furry jutsu? I really hope not. <laughs> um, and then the other cat I remember was Grey Ghost. Now that's short for Grey Ghost because it was gray and we never saw it. <clears throat> and it hated us so much. Always hissed at us. Always clawed at us. And, and we just eat food? Yeah, yeah, I'd eat our food that we give it out and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I hate that. I, gotta, just mooch, I'm, yeah. I, I just might have told the you back. these stories though about it. How one time... Um, it was just gone. I was like, oh, shoot, that's weird. Grey Ghost is just gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was riding my mo- my four-wheeler around, and I saw it. I'm like, Grey Ghost? It's you. And I grab Grey Ghost and take it back, and it's just clawing me the whole way back. And then later that day, I hear my dad go, that freaking cat's back. I took it out in the middle of nowhere, and it's all of a sudden back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 and I was trying to get rid of it, and I brought it back. 
Um, <laughs> Grey Ghost. Grey Ghost. Imagine. Wait. <laughs> wait. Imagine. It's like a like. What if it was like almost like a like a scary cat? So it's like you're driving your four wheeler around at night and like you don't know. But then, oh, like yeah, you yeah. look up, it's like on a shelf. It jumps <laughs> off at you. <laughs> at least oh it was. At least it was daytime. You need yeah. a Jackson Galaxy for that cat. Yeah, my dad ended up taking it to the middle of nowhere again and threw it away. Oh, threw it. Just threw it in the trash. Well, not the garbage, yeah. but like threw it out. If you don't know, it's Jackson, basically dead though. At that Jackson Galaxy is the guy lived. from my cat. I think it was a boy. Oh, I wonder where it would go. I think Greg was a boy. Anyway, we didn't really have a lot of like non quote unquote traditional animals. Um, I had a hermit crab when I was really little. I don't remember its name. And it crawled out of its shell one time, and I tried to give it a bunch of new shells. and never liked any of the new shells I gave it, and it just died. It, was, it didn't have a home. And then the last animal that we had was a rabbit named Gunther. Gunther? Gun- yeah. We definitely stole it from Friends, though. If you guys have seen Friends. What's I've that? seen a couple. Gunther, Friends? Yeah. Is that the one with Jennifer Aniston? Is that the one with Jerry Seinfelder? Yeah, he's in there. Gotcha. He's, uh, he's, his name that. is Ross in the show. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, so my brother went on like a state fair trip one time, and he came home with a rabbit. And he, he kept it hidden in his like coat pocket on the bus ride home. <laughs> and we got back home, and he showed it to me. He's like, we can't tell mom and dad about it because I bought this. And they he don't, makes they, you an accomplice at that yeah, point. Yeah, he's oh, like, he's like, they don't, up. they don't know that we have this animal. I'm like, okay, that's fine. And so we kept him for about <laughs> okay. a week, and we like carried around with us, like in the cars and stuff. It was really fun. <laughs> Gunther was pretty great. And then my mom, and, my mom and dad happened to be on vacation at the time, so it worked out super, super well. And then they came back, and we're like, okay, we got to hide Gunther outside somewhere. So we hid Gunther outside. And the next day it was gone. <laughs> no idea what happened to Gunther. Oh, no. But then like a month later, I saw Gunther again. I was outside with my dad, and I look over and I see this rabbit. I'm just like, oh, my dad goes, Cole, look at this rabbit. It's like domesticated. I'm like, Gunther! <laughs> <laughs> it was straight up Gunther, but we couldn't grab it. It kept ran away, and we think it might have died. I think wolves okay. ate it. Oh, my gosh. It got snatched up wolves? by a hawk. Wolves? You have wolves? He lives the hell out there, though. Or it gets, it gets snatched well, up by a hawk. You've been at my house, Dane? What? You've been to my house? house yeah, but I was expecting more coyotes than wolves. Oh. Yeah, you're right. It was probably coyotes. Yeah, I, don't I don't know wolves, why I said wolves. I don't think wolves would be out in that area. Yeah, you're they? right. It's yeah, probably coyotes. coyotes. Regardless, something ate it. Gunther was a great bunny, though. We had it for a week, and it's gone. Forever. Yes. R.I.P. Rip Gunther. Maybe a cat ate it. I don't know if cats are... Nope. I would... Yeah. No, I'm saying a hawk. I think my prediction... That's it was prediction. a pretty low fat prediction. one, though. Like, it had to, like, Hawk would have to kill it and then eat it on the ground. I couldn't carry it. I could see that. Although, um, I, there is a video on YouTube where, like, a bear is just clawing, like, biting and clawing at a deer, and the deer is just screaming. I've when seen I was that. In, when I was what in the? Boise, Dang. there was a bear. Was it a bear? I think it was a bear. It somehow got into town, just running around downtown Boise. That's nuts. That's yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> Everybody run! <laughs> Did you guys ever see that video of that Komodo dragon like killing a pregnant deer and then just slurping up the baby? I heard uh, about that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch it. That was the freaking comments. The comments we're talking about spawn kill. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the, it was from the subreddit Nature's Metal. Oh, that's, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, that's very. I don't like up, that subreddit. subreddit. Jordan sent us that one. Yeah. And just like wow. He sent us I another s- one of a horse eating a chicken. I didn't yeah, know horses eat I saw eat that, too. I just chick. Is a horse eating yeah, a just, chick? It just freaking it's slurped up a baby and then chicken. The, and then the mama. It's, the it's, mom freaked it out. It attacks like, the wow. horse. <sighs> what animals do you have, Zay? Um, I've had a majority of dogs. Can I add a dogs. few? So I remember we had a two like we had like two hamsters, and they they Names. didn't last very long. Names. Like One died like two Why months after two? I had... I and then we named uh, ours Hamtaro. I can't remember though. Yeah, Hamtaro. we had like one had like one like died two months after we had it, another died three days. Oof. And then we had a bunny they had no shot. that we were ha- we were supposed to have for four H. We're supposed to like raise the bunny. Um it it kind of killed its babies. It didn't keep them warm and then and then a dog and then we had it out in this little barn area we had and a dog ripped through the cage and mauled it. Fun. Yeah, and uh, also we had pigs. We raised, 
and uh, for four years. I didn't know and, Thane um, was a farmer. I'm going to be honest. This is the first time I've heard about this. <laughs> Damn, uh, Thane. Well, I'm not really farmers. We had a little farm area with the house, but... I didn't know you had pigs. We stopped, we stopped doing the 4-H thing after. It's like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> like, I, I yeah. have been hate animals. <laughs> this is last yeah. year. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and um, <laughs> to make and it you a probably know what happened to the pigs. What? We sell them and they get eaten. Vot. Vot yeah. happened to pig. We, o- we killed Meyer? them and ate them. Did you, uh, oh, we you, kept the pork. Were you sensual with the pig? Bro, I don't think I could. I don't think I could eat. Then is it beyond an animal evil? that I raised? Then yeah. is it beyond good and evil style? Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, yes. Back to you, Zay. Cole, did you want to add your hamsters on there? Yeah. Oh, I ha- I don't know their names. Oh. Oh. I just think we might have named it Hamtaro. And also, Cleo. And also, them. Cleo had like three letters of Ken. Do you know Hamtaro was Zay? Uh-huh. It was like an old cartoon. An anime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was an anime. Yeah. No. I don't know if it was from Japan. It probably was. Yeah, it was. Hamtaro yeah. was great. I, I don't mean, remember safe a- to assume. at all. I just remember the name was so good for hamsters. Hamtaro? Like, come on. Yeah, I like Hamtaro. That's top tier hamster name. Okay. I like, I like that. What do you guys say? I think if I were to have two, though, I'd probably do ham and cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. I'd probably do that. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Or if you had two guinea pigs, New Guinea. Nice. Or Papa. <laughs> yeah. Papa um, New. <laughs> Don't name, it, don't name it Guinea, just yeah, Papa New. Papa Guinea. <laughs> so, um, uh, I, I majority have been dogs, but I've also I've like had fish too. <clears throat> um, let's see, kind of the like the I guess the the ones that la- like really last. Um, hmm. I had a I had a a kitten for a long time, but. I was, I don't know. I was probably like, probably like five or six, honestly. If you had it for a long time, then did it become a cat? I had, no, I had the kitten. F- I, to me, it felt like a while. Maybe it wasn't that long <laughs> in, in, re- in like all reality. But so I, I, I mean, I took care of it. I think its name was like Splinter or Silver, something like that. So I, I, uh, I, I had it. And then what I had to do though, is I would take it out, let it go to the bathroom and stuff and like feed it and water it or whatever. And then I put it back in its cage, but I didn't put it back in the cage one time. And my neighbors had like a bunch, like a pack of dogs. Mm. And Oof. like I, I went inside. I think I left it outside for a while. I feel like I've heard this story before. I left yeah, it outside for a while. And then I remember I, I was, it's sad. And I came back in, and it was just laying there. And I knew exactly it was just the dogs. It was the dogs. I don't know how many attacked it, but yeah, it was just dead. I was like, oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I was so sad, bro, because I would like care for it and stuff. Like I had yeah. like a schedule with it almost. Oh, sad, bro. Um, I don't have a good history with animals. I really don't. Like, oh, my animals are dead too. Most recently, though, like all of mine have died horribly, though. Like I have. I I guess the the ones that are like of like significance to me. Um, so I had one. Uh, he was a black lab. His name was Clark. He. He was probably our dog. We got him when he was like, he had to have been a pup. We had him for I, we had up had him up until um, probably twenty seventeen maybe sixteen seventeen. So um, it was probably it was seventeen I think yeah because so it was um so we had the black lab for a long time and then we also had a um a Yorkie, and his name was Clancy and they were just like. At first, they weren't that great of friends, but after a while, they just became really good friends. Like, we had them in, the, like, the same kennel and everything. And they, like, became best friends or whatever. Like, they would, like, hang out a lot and stuff. Or, like, whatever. We, whenever we let them out, they'd run out together. Um, yeah, I love those dogs so much. But I think it was 2017. The first one was uh, Clark. I think um, he got sold. He, like, I, I don't I think my, my dad just had him, like, put down. That's, I mean, I, I think, I don't know if, like, he got injured or something, but he was just not in good shape. So my dad just had him put down. And, like, the my other dog, Clancy, got really sad that he was gone because he's just by himself now. So, like, I don't know. He it, he was fine, but, like, one habit he had was he would dig holes um, out of, like, our backyard. And he would run out into the neighborhood and just, like, leave and run around for, like, a day or two and then come back sometimes. And it just wasn't good because one day... He, um, 
this happened more than once, but he came back with a, um, I think he, I don't know if he got into, like, he got hurt a little bit, and, like, he, he came back, and he was, like, I he looked scared, but he also was, like, hurt, I think. So, like, there was times where it was just really sketchy, but I think one time when he was in the garage by himself, he got, um, we had fishing poles in there, and he got a, a fishing hook. Oh, gosh. In his cheek. It was Owie. either his cheek or his eye. I think it was his eye, maybe. Yeah, maybe it was his eye. Gosh. I think it was his eye. Like, it got, like, just stuck. Yeah. And um, the first time it happened, I th- I want to say it was his mouth the first time because we could get it out. But the second time it got into his eye. And I, w- this, I was, like, gone at the time. I was, like, out of town. And, and it ended up being so bad that, like, like we had to put him down, I think. Cause oh, it wow. Because it was, like, I think that's what, I think that's what it was. I want to say that's what it was, honestly. Dang. Oh, bro, that was just so traumatic. Because we lost, that was like the <sighs> same summer. So, like, oh. the first one died, and then the next one died within like a month or two. And then um, we had one, uh, I think it was, I think it was last year. His name was Chuck. He was just a black lab as well. But he ended up just getting hit by a car. Oh. And he didn't die immediately, though. Mm. He He got hit. And then he came back, and he was, like, hurt badly. So then my dad just put him down. Had him put down, I think. I didn't even know that, dude. I didn't know Chuck died. Yeah, I, Chuck. I remember Chuck swallowed a fish hook, too, that your dad had to go pay for the surgery. Yep. I, yeah. Yeah. Keep your keep your fish hooks locked up from pets. Yeah, dude. Oh, All of my pets either died from getting hit by cars or just disappeared one day. That's how mine typically left. Yeah. Freaking sad, bro. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I don't want animals, dude, is because they're just going to die. Mine weren't ever, like, used to cars because I was so out in the middle of nowhere, you know? We didn't get a lot of cars like y- you guys probably did. Like, sometimes uh, animals just get accustomed to cars a lot of the times, so they know not to go close to them. But where we're, where I was, they're just like, oh, shoot, that's new. Let's go chase it and jump underneath it. Boom. That's rough. Yeah. Ugh. What do you do? Well, Thane. Uh, All right, let's try to speed through these next ones. Um, you can save them for next time. Yeah, that's, you know? that's up to you. No, 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 no. This one, this one, it would make sense for the podcast. Uh, okay, what's your fa- what was your favorite pet out of all these? Kirby. Okay. The one I have now. Okay. Dang, I don't know if I have a favorite. That's hard. What yeah, I, I love those last three so much. I can't. Okay. I don't have okay. a favorite. Um, I think mine was uh, my cat. Panther. Uh, yeah, she was she was kind of mean sometimes, but she just come up and beg for food. And it's like, oh, she's such a cute little kitty. I liked Kirby because it was an indoor dog. That's why it was fun. Okay, okay. Uh, next, what's your ideal pet? Like, what kind of pet? Personally, mm-hmm. I'd like a, I'd like a dog, like a kind of big one, like a, like a lab or a husky, something like that. I don't know. I'm on the fence between, like, I have an indoor dog now, and it's really fun, but, like, I don't like dogs being in the house because they stink and they can track crap everywhere. So probably just, like, a nice, well-trained outdoor dog that's yeah. just chill and fun. I would have to say an indoor um, an indoor animal, but to be fair, I don't like indoor animals either. I think that's the best way to do it, though, if you have one, just because they stay a little bit cleaner. And I like them to be chill. I like them to be excited and play with you when you want to play with them, but then just chill out when you don't. <laughs> That's why Kirby was so great. You, you, get Kirby, yeah. you get Kirby really riled up, but if it was just chilling and just vibing, he's just vibing on the ground, just like, do 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 do. Dang. I would want uh, probably a smaller dog. I, I love dogs, like any size of dog, but I think the smaller ones, they just feel so much more like, I don't know, homey. Like, you can just hold them. They're a lot easier to control, too. Exactly. You can just hold them, and, like, they're just so, like, I don't know. It kind of it kind of goes back to that same thing about, like, babies because they're so small, and, like, I, like babies are adorable. So I, I think I think I, it's kind of the same thing for me, I think. Yeah, probably a small dog. All right, and the last and final question, uh, what's a pet you would never have? Like, like you, you look at all uh, – Possible legal pets would be like, definitely not that one. And for me, it'd probably be a tarantula. I hate spiders. And just having a spider as a pet, 
That's a big. That's a big no for me, especially their size. Uh, have you ever seen the molt? Bro, I see tarantulas IRL, bro. They're 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 cool and creepy at the same time. Yeah, I don't. I think I never want one. I'd have to see a list of I mean, like yeah, domesticated not... animals that yeah. I could have, but cats. I don't like tigers. Cats. I don't want a cat. Like Mr. Tiger King. Mr. Kings. Those are not legal. Um. I don't like big dogs that are like really jumpy. Those are the worst. Like you go, like you a, go to someone's house. They got a dog that just jumps all over you. And it's freaking as like tall a ba- as you like too. a like a Beethoven Claws too. Like yeah, you back. I hate those so much. Got mud all over your nice white shirt. You're just like, God damn. I also hate Bastard. pugs. Man, this day better be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> pugs are gross. Sorry, Jake. Oh, oh, no, it was Tally. <laughs> Tally was a puggle. She no, was like a Tally. puggle beagle. She was like a pug beagle. No, I'm not saying that. My best no, friend Jake loves oh, pugs. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. what I meant. That's why his name is Pug Kitty. <laughs> you hear him? Oh. You hear him? He's like, no, it's Tally. No, it's Tally, not Jake. Yeah, yeah, pug. I think pugs are <laughs> ugly, dude. They're the, probably the most ugly looking dog. Like, at least those big dogs I described earlier are actually good looking. Pugs are disgusting, dude. Same thing goes with those cats with those flat faces, dude. Like, what the heck? Who bred that? Who thought that would be a good thing to a breed? A ragdoll? God. No, flat face. It's, it's, it's gross. Poor, poor animals. Pet not to have. Honestly, I'd probably do. I think I'd be. I wouldn't want a snake or a spider. I just wouldn't want it, but I think I'd rather have those over a cat. Same. I don't really? like cats either. Cat, indoor cats, bro. <laughs> I five to that, baby. Yeah, indoor cats, I can't. I can't do it I'd anymore. much rather have a cat than a snake or a spider. I don't yeah. want a snake or a spider either. But bro, no. cats leave hair everywhere. They claw the crap out of everything. Yep. And they just yep. walk everywhere. It's like, Straight dude, don't jump, don't jump on my stuff. Straight The worst facts. part is and the hair. The other stuff you can get over with it just yeah. depends on the bro, cat. Cole, imagine a cat. Let's say you have a nice comforter on your bed, or like you have a nice. Clean That's what I bed. said. The hair's the worst. The part. cat gets in there. You walk in. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna take a nap. Just a cat in there. Hairs everywhere. It's like that's, that's, I can't do it. That's the problem I had with my dog when I was living there, and I got used to it. I was like, no, I "Oh, she sheds everywhere." Bro, okay, whatever. let me tell you. No, gross bro. Story then it gets hair in there. Yeah. You're just like. Ugh. So this was one of my that's reasons. That's the problem with dog. When you have short hair dogs, long hair dogs, they almost never shed. Well, dude, short hair ones, they always shed. This is one of my reasons why I didn't like indoor dogs. Like I love my dog now, but like this was just disgusting. And Zane Brennan would make fun of me forever for this. Oh yeah. But <laughs> so my my dog was a girl dog, and she wasn't fixed at the time. She was probably like two or three years old, and I was like fifteen or sixteen. <laughs> look at, look at, he and knows. they know. <laughs> I had this. I had a big old bed, like I had a queen size bed in my room, and I had these nice blankets on there. And my freaking dog, like when when I would was asleep, my dog would jump up on my bed and like snuggle with me. So I had to shut the door. But my freaking mom is a weasel, and she would open the door because she didn't want the dog in her room. <laughs> and so she'd open my door while I was asleep. The dog would run in there. Well, the dog, <laughs> it was her time of the month, and she bled all over oh, my bed, dude. Oh, I knew it was something disgusting. like that. It was disgusting. And, yeah, I got made fun of for a while, thing. Dog was going through heat. Uh, did you know that apparently dogs have, bed. like, Ugh. like little anal glands that the vet, like, comes and just kind of, like, drains it out? If you don't drain it out, it explodes one day. <laughs> is it like That's a, gross. Is it, smell. Is it like a hernia? Awful. Or a, or a hemorrhoid, I mean? No, no, it's like a natural thing in dogs. You have to, like... That's like. I will say the dog that Cur- we had Kirby, it didn't shed, but we got it like haircut a lot too. But it just didn't shed. Dude, Shih Tzus are the best dogs. If you're gonna get a dog, get one of those. Those are easily top tier dogs. Really they're, not labs. There's there's top yeah. yeah labs, labs are big. Yeah, labs are big. I like small dogs. Bro, Yorkies are so much fun though. Yorkies you ever, you ever suck. The Yorkie? Dude, they're so bad. No, don't they're even. They're so loud. Don't even. They are the worst. Depends on those the Yorkie. Those are the dogs that Depends go. On the Yorkie. Oh, you're walking. Let me st- let me get under your foot. Ouch! You hurt me. Depends on I the Yorkie. You. Depends on the Yorkie. Yorkies suck. All of there's them. Do you have a Yorkie? No, but I had a cousin who did. Bro, depends on the Yorkie. That Yorkie sucked then. There's Dude, some Yorkies, Yorkies that, so that will bark at everything. <laughs> They're just so loud. They don't like you. They'll just, like, stay away from you. Ugh, my dog, my 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 Yorkie was so much fun. Because he was, like, he was, like, rambunctious. Like, you get him riled up, he just want to keep playing. But, like, he was so much fun. Yeah. He's an awesome personality. So it depends on the dog, honestly. Some are just bred to be horrible. I don't yeah, know what it is. It's just their personality. Dude, you know if you, like, squeeze pugs too much, their eyes pop out? Like, wh- why? <laughs> Why is that a thing? They don't choose that. They didn't like, choose wait, that. Wait, like, I know somebody bred him and made it like, oh well, we we messed up with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Better keep breeding it and keep making more. Like who decided to make like more? A, 
I think they're like kind of like a weird uh, bre- off breed of like a bulldog. They freaking took a brother and sister dog and put them together in a pug <laughs> pop. Oh that my dude. God. Yeah. Gosh, they're so bad. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to this episode yeah. of the Radcats podcast, as well as Thane and Zay's blossoming, blooming re- relationship. No, so where, where are we gonna go next? Yeah, yeah, where are we gonna go Thane, next? Thane, thanks with for it? the the, root, I'm breaking the Dr. Up with Pepper. You, yeah, thank you, Zay. Or Thane. Wait, no, no, we're gonna end the episode there. We didn't, I didn't hear anything. Leave it on cliffhanger, Thane. Is it's, Thane gonna break up no. with Zay? Zay, thank you for the Dr. Pepper. I, was, I never well. loved you. Is Zay gonna propose? Give him the rose. Give him the rose. <laughs> give him the pep. Give him the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Reminder: We got a cool Final Fantasy VII video up there. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, it's got funny parts in it. If you're listening to this on Monday, the day release. We'll be live streaming tonight at 7:30 Mountain Standard Time. Be there. And then if you're not, check it out on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, because that's when we stream. Yeah, and if you're into watching the entire VOD, you can head on over to our Ratcat Stream YouTube <laughs> I guess channel. If you like that kind of stuff. Guys, we've been playing Among Us. It's been pretty fun. It's been a bop. Zay yeah. gets so mad. Yeah, it's it's a game that I would definitely I don't know. It's fun. I'd definitely stab a bitch over it. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> honestly, yeah, honestly. I don't know. I prefer other games over that one, but it's a lot of fun with everyone else. I think it's pretty fun. If you play with people that are that don't suck, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> or that like at least will listen to you sometimes. It's not just imme- immediately discredit whatever you're saying. You or immediately vote as soon as someone says it was that guy. Boom. Maybe that's why I'm so good at it because I can just convince everybody because everybody just believes me for some reason. Everything I say is just freaking law. It's yeah. because you sit and fight for your opinion. And people are like, you know what? If he's that passionate, he's probably right. Or they're like, you know what? I'm almost out of voting time. I just got to vote for something. <laughs> I don't, listen I don't to what fight, he says. I don't fight as like loudly as some other people do, though. I try to have like relatively mostly conversations. I do get louder sometimes, though. No, I I, sorry. I when that. I say you fight, I didn't I didn't mean that you're loud. You're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're civil? Civil, sure. You're very calm. You're very... Um, but I keep pushing my agenda. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> the imposter agenda. Oof. But that's it, guys. Uh, follow our social medias. Go join our Discord. If you listen on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify, thank you. Go subscribe to our YouTube Check channel. Check out our YouTube channel. We got videos there. We also uh, hit 200 followers on Twitch, so that's something. Yeah, we did it. Woo! Guys, we're putting out a lot of different things. We we stream. We have a podcast that we release once a week. We have YouTube videos. I mean, there's well, a, we got merch too. There's quite a few things that I don't know that we're doing. We got a whole little Radcats ecosystem going on here, so yeah. feel free to dive right in if you enjoyed the podcast and get submerged with the blossoming love of Thane and Zay. I, I also oh. wanted to give before we end. I wanted to give two shout outs. It'd be kind of funny to have like a merch like a merch line yeah, dedicated to just our. Love. I freaking love that. One of them is just Thane bending over and Zay go oh. No, oh, did that no. Old, the one face? What's it called? <laughs> the, oh, the, the craygasm. Yeah, yeah, I got. Uh, <laughs> your tongue out and everything. Yeah. Uh, so before we edit, I wanted to give two shout outs. One shout out to our main man, Lil Thick, for doing Thick thoughts. This is like week thirteen Thanks, Thick. that he's been just sending just in some bops, through, dude. Every week, they're different so every week too, dude. Yeah, yeah. He, he's killing it. And then I also wanted to give a shout out to like our secret editor that's been like editing our scripts. He's been doing a really good job. Hey, hey. His thank name's you. Marble Red. Uh, Thanks for editing our, our scripts, dude. Like, he, he, I felt bad the last one I sent him. He literally wrote in the comments, as, it was something like, I don't really know what you're saying here. This is a wrong sentence and you need to fix it. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot. I read it too. I couldn't understand what I wrote. <laughs> but Ugh. yeah. Thanks, Marble Red. If you guys uh, want to go support him, he's actually got music. He's like, he does music. Yeah. Spotify too. Spotify. Oh, and Spotify as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. Search, search Marble Red. Hit him up. up. Tell yeah. him the cat pack sent you. Tell him Cactus Jack sent you. <laughs> Dude, I, speaking of that, I saw a video the other day of, uh, we should just watch those. That'd be funny. But um, it was these guys, they drove up to uh, a drive through and they have Travis Scott playing. They turn it down. He's like, oh, so dumb. Cactus Jack, he f- me. <laughs> 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 and then Who's it Cactus Jack? <laughs> it ends. It's know. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Uh, That's like a nickname. But it just cuts there. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Didn't you say that there was another person that rolled up and said, you know why we're here? Just started blasting. Yeah. And then the lady, and then the lady's like, I'm dead. Pull forward. 
<laughs> you know why we're here. Bro, and I, saw, I see all of these. I saw another one where these guys, they had, you know when they get the tarp, they put it in the back of a truck? The yeah, they kept making yeah. a pool. It was a pool. He was in the, the back of the truck in a pool. They roll up, and he's like, Cactus Jack sent me. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Bro."> <laughs> <laughs> They're in the back of the truck. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, every McDonald's employee is just I can turn it over. They probably hate their last name. I feel bad for them. <laughs> probably every day they come home, they're like, Fuck you, Travis <laughs> Scott! Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> every person that even liked him slightly before that works there, they don't like him anymore. Nope. They Someone has him. a Travis Scott poster and they have McDonald's outfit on. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I hate rap music! I saw this video of this kid. He went to like four different McDonald's in his town and he pulled off the Travis Scott burger meal, the, the actual poster. He, he put him up in his room and he said that he got banned from McDonald's. <laughs> he did? Yeah, one of the McDonald's <laughs> caught him and banned him. But he had like four Travis Scott burger posters. How did he get banned? Like, you go back there, it's really oh, I know, money. yeah. It didn't make any sense. I'll go to either. a different one. Yeah. Well, how would they know? It's not like they got his freaking exactly, ID. Yeah. It's like... Nobody asks for your ID oh, when you gosh, buy a bro. Fortnite burger from you. Pull up to Travis you pull up to your food. You're like, oh, we don't serve to you. Are you like, the food? Hey, give me the fucking food. food. Give me the Travi burger. Bye, everybody. Have a good Bye. one. <laughs> See y'all later. Good night, guys.